Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to August 2022 general monthly reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals just like you who need this information. And a special thanks to one of my subscribers who made a wonderful suggestion to me about having uh, making an overview uh, for the monthly readings. And so I did a test run. I did it for only Leo. And so along with the, the regular reading, but if that sounds right for you and you would like me to include every month for all the zodiac signs an overview as well which is less than five minutes long so you can kind of preview and see what the long version will be saying for you then please go to the leo overview and press the like button because that's the way it's going to show me who wants this done so that, and that's how I am going to decide whether I do that or not. So if I receive enough likes from all of you, then I know it's important enough to do and I will absolutely do that next month. Okay, so also we have, just a second here, get some, oh I need to, We have some major transits and right now there is, we are in a major conjunction of the North node, retrograde North node in Taurus is conjunct Taurus and Uranus and Mars in Uranus right now. And it's a close conjunction and it started approximately the 25th of July and it will, um, the close conjunction will go through approximately August 12th and another subscriber also sent me a, a very informative video from I believe her name is Molly and she is an astrologer another astrologer and her title is a rare cosmic journey where she explains very beautifully I might add there are I think there are four or maybe it's more than four. I'm not quite sure how many, but there are several major conjunctions, unique conjunctions that started the end of November 20, uh, yeah, 2019. And she ends, I believe, with this conjunction in Taurus and Taurus and Uranus conjunction, which is happening now in 2022. And then I think she speaks a little bit um, something about 2023 or and something happening in 2024 as well but very informative and so I cannot impress upon you enough to go ahead and if that interests you to find out how your personal life you can look back as she's speaking at these major because they were consecutive one at a time and they all work together to get us to where we are right now and where we will continue to go in the, in the future. So very, very good. I will leave a link in the description box below this video for those of you interested. Okay, I am taping on the 28th of July, which is the new moon in Leo five degrees. However, I won't be able to post this as so you, the earliest you'll be able to see it will be tomorrow, July 29th. Okay, the next full moon will be August 12th, and that will be in Aquarius, 19 degrees. And coincidentally, that will conjunct transiting Saturn that is still retrograde in Aquarius, and it will be a close conjunction within one, let's see, it's gonna be close. For several days and I didn't take a look to see how long but close conjunction 
definitely this month. And then we still have transiting Pluto in Capricorn. And today it's 27 degrees, but after the 4th of August, it will be 26 degrees and stay that way the rest of the month. Okay, the new moon will be in Virgo on August 27th, and that will be four degrees Virgo, four minutes. Okay, all right, so, and Pisces, I want to say, as always, that if this particular monthly reading is not right for you, that is perfectly all right because your natal wheel with your placements and the transiting placements to your natal wheel are going to be uniquely different each and every month. And so you might want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign, or your south or north nodes of the moon. Okay, let's check. I want to see for Pisces how this conjunction is going to be, or what it's going to be doing, how it will be assisting Pisces this month, this conjunction, Taurus conjunction. For sun, moon rising, north or south nodes. Whoopsie, there we go. Okay. Okay, we have Saturn. So the word I just got was, you could be very serious this month, or this conjunction is, is a very serious one for you in particular. So very big changes, or a big change. You could have a, a, a challenge, a challenge possible. But I'm just, I'm gonna read that what it says. Because what I got to was with the, I was, was um, drawn to the word challenge, and it says that in here, and then it says to gain wisdom. So absolutely, all challenges, they are absolutely there for you and each one of us to gain wisdom. So that if it's something is challenging for you this month, Pisces, look to see what wisdom, what you have gained or what what you will, um, what there is for you to gain. And because of the conjunction, I'm talking about the Taurus conjunction, which has to do with each and every one of our personal value, how we value ourselves, our own, yes, our own worth, self-worth, and what we see that to be, how we see that to be. So in some way, there, this... Saturnian seriousness, this authority figure. Maybe you have a specific authority figure. It could be a parent, it could be a grandparent, or someone who is older than you that is is teaching you something, or you are experiencing something with this person I'm seeing that is is for you. It's a lesson for you. It's something for you to gain some wisdom. They just might be telling you some truth, some facts, something that assists you on your path too. That that's a possibility. This is a general reading, so I'm I'm seeing too. I think it looks like this gentleman to me has a book in his hand too. So you could be learning something new on your own. You could be researching something, and so you're very serious about about that this month and. Okay. Okay. And then you have cancer. So you have a very serious planet. So serious energy that also um, keeps you, I just got with your nose to the grindstone on what, whatever this is. Again, this is a general reading. But then when I see the cancer too, cancer, as we know, are highly emotional. So here you have your logic, your stick to your sternness, and um, that adult in you, 
the mature one sticking to something. And then here you have your emotional part of you too. So what I'm getting from that is you could be balancing those two out, some of you, but what I'm also getting is whatever, if this is a challenge or whatever this, this seriousness is that you are serious about, whatever it is, you're very emotional too. It's very, it, it has, it's grabbed your emotions as well. Okay. So, and again, because this is a general reading, I mean, this could be, you could be thrilled about something. You could be excited about something and you're very focused and serious about that, about completing something. Maybe you will be completing something and you have been seriously focused about something and you're going to now be very happy with the results this month. That could absolutely be it. And it has everything again, because these cards I was asking have to do with the Taurus conjunction. And so the Mars has to do with fast moving action. It's a very, very um, fiery energy and action oriented. You're not going to be able to sit on the sidelines you will be, this is a motion, physical motion, in motion. So something, maybe something's coming to you very swiftly. Could be a, a possibility as well. Oh, I just got some of you could be going to visit someone and very quickly at the spur of the moment. Someone who's dear to your heart. Okay, and then uh, Taurus, of course, has to do with, again, it's, it's always, it's the second house, it's your possessions, it's your, it's your value, it's your worth, what you value, how you value yourself, how others value you, but it's all about you and your value. And so, oh, two, okay, let me read this, Cancer 2. This energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother or a child. So maybe you're going to, some of you are going to visit your children or your parents or one of your parents or a family member, or they are coming to visit you. I just got to, you could, maybe you're having a very uh, serious discussion with, with someone, one of your family members, or I just got, you might be challenged by one of your family members, whether it's a child or your mother or your father, or maybe you're the mother or father and your child is challenging you in some way. And it's, it's very explosive and an emotional time. Again, it's going to be different for all of you, but I'm also getting, it's going to be a very special. It could be a very magical time too, this month, something, Something that triggers your emotions on the very positive side or the whole, you know, the whole spectrum, very positive to the negative to anywhere in between is what I'm getting. Very emotional month for you. Personally emotional month for you. I just saw someone crying for joy something. Maybe some of you are going to be receiving something. I just got a picture of someone receiving a package, receiving a letter, receiving a card. I just saw a card or something with someone kissed it and sent it to you and, and you're crying or you're just very happy. It's very heartwarming to you. And this is whether you're male or female. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can get some more. My soul deck for Pisces. Saturn can also be very stabilizing. So something could be stabilizing out in your life 
you know, balancing out like justice, like the justice card where you were, you were, um, something didn't go in your favor and now it's the scales are turning to and stabilizing for you. It could be, you know, your, your finances, it could be anything. Maybe something was challenging for you and now you are, are being, it's being stabilized out. You're being stabilized. It's being returned to you or not returned, but you're seeing the positive of that. Something positive happening now where you were challenged before. This is what I'm getting. And Pisces, you just you have just gained wisdom. You whatever you've been going through, you've you've really answered the call. This is what I just saw in my head. And therefore you've matured and you've gained wisdom in whatever area this challenge was for you. Now you're able to you have a whole new outlook on yourself and you have new feelings, genuine feelings and a value towards yourself because of this. Yes, yes, you have really learned, you've really been nurturing yourself, loving yourself, giving yourself personal attention and maybe this is something that you will be continuing to do, some of you and or beginning to do this month with these energies again absolutely absolutely you you're you're very thankful and grateful and just being very kind and I'm just this lady here she's just very soothing and she's she's this little lady's laying on her side right here I don't know if you can see that her hands are just this is a face here upside down here, I'll turn up, up right face here. And she's just, just kind of stroking and being very, very kind, very loving, very like you're, you will or you've just begun giving yourself what you need, taking extra care, doing something, something kind for yourself that makes you feel good makes you, it fills you up, fills your cup up. And just showing how much you care about you and value you, whether it's the time you spend with yourself, maybe you, you're gonna, you bought something, you are spending time with a special person, whatever that is, I'm seeing you doing that this month and it's, it, it really, it really, really fills your heart full. Okay. Someone also, someone else could be doing that for you too. So you could be receiving. So that's beautiful as well. So yes, it's about taking care of yourself and Showing yourself how much you value you and also others could be also showing you this month as well. And there it's very stabilizing for you. And of course, emotionally fulfilling it touches your heart and you're very grateful. But you're able to relax, I'm getting as well. For some of you Pisces, if you haven't been able to relax, Things have been tough, again, challenging. But because you met the challenges and you didn't give up, you now get to rest and you now get to benefit from all of that work. Okay, so let's see. What is Pisces' strongest energy that is assisting them this month with this stabilization? 
That word just keeps coming in my head. So there's something is stabilizing for you, Pisces, in your life in some way. And let's see what frequency, what energy is doing that. I was just drawn to look outside the window and I don't normally do that. And there was a car that drove by and what I thought of, what came to my mind is that you are moving ahead. You're moving now. You're going to start moving forward now, Pisces. So some of you, you've probably been stuck and but now no more. You will be physically moving. Maybe some of you will be physically moving. <laughs> You're thinking about physically moving to a different location, but you don't have to. But life will be moving forward for you in some way now, wherever it was stagnant. Much more peaceful as well, much more peaceful. Okay, so, well, what energy? You get one, is there a specific one, I suppose? Oh, okay, this one. Oh, look at that, okay, prosperity, look at that. So there you go. For some of you, it is definitely prosperity, money. That is stabilizing. Stabilizing you this month. Wow. It's number 36. Beautiful card. I love the colors. The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. Wow, so this is very good. So what I'm gonna say for that is a lot of you, it's because the challenges were from the past. You are through with that, or you're if you're not quite, you are almost, and you, the energies that are coming to you, the strong supportive energies is prosperity for you. Pisces, wow, that is beautiful. Okay, with that, let's get some tarot cards. Let's see what else comes out that you need to know. 22 might be a special number for you. I was just drawn to look at the time and it was 22 minutes. So, and 36, three plus six is nine. So 36 could be a special number for you or nine also. All right, so what else for Pisces? What do they need to know? Oh, look at that, Nine of Wands. Okay, let me, let me get more cards before I, and we have the Lovers, a second, so. Something's balancing out. Nine of Wands, to me, is showing balance is coming into your life now, finally. balance this card totally. So wherever you haven't had balance in your life, definitely it's coming in now to stabilize you. Just one or two more here for Pisces, please. Okay. 
this is sun rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Whoa. Oh, these cards are going everywhere. stop with that right now and let me okay okay so yes the nine of wands again see the black and the white dog and then you see the moon down here and the sun so to me that is just talking about balance and that's what you are receiving now is balance oh I am hot it's really hot in here I apologize Ooh. okay Yes, so you are stabilizing out, and this is something you are going to love. And also, this is the lover's card, and that's balance. Six is also balanced, but also I see for you singles, you could be meeting another, your partner who balances you. For those of you that that pertains to, and you've been desiring that as well. Yeah, see the sun. This is this is gonna make you so happy, so fulfilled. Um, where the light, uh, where the sun was not shining for you, now the sun shines brightly for you. Your your life, your future, you are excited about, and you're looking forward to this, and to every every morning when you wake up. This is what the sun card is showing me. You've transformed something in your life. And again, it has the yin and yang. So because whatever you have been working on to balance out or whatever you worked through, whatever challenges, you are now going to see the positive, the reimbursement of your work that balances all that hard work and challenge that you have been going through in the past. So you can now have some enjoyment in your life. Really, really happy. And then the Queen of Wands, yes. You've really, really earned and gone through whatever you went through uh, drawn to the lion here, you have gained courage in some, some, some form, some way, part of your life. You've gained courage, inner strength, inner courage, of course, wisdom, absolutely. And, and it's brought you back to life. I'm just drawn to all these bright colors and it's so bright. And wands are very fiery in energy. And so that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have that in your chart too, but you don't have to. But again, it's just your vitality, your health, your brightness. Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart because I talked about that with Aquarius. But you don't have to either. But in, in any in any way, it's bringing you back to life and the sun is shining bright and you are excited, exuberated, I just got the word, for whatever, whatever new adventure you're stepping into, whatever, whatever this prosperity is, it's going to enable you to, to really experience life, experience life in a very, very positive, happy, happy way. So any, through those challenges, anything you lost, whether it was health, your energy, your, your strength, you know, um, whatever you it's being replaced it's being replaced and you're you're getting that fire back you're getting that if you haven't already started you will this month you have a bright future ahead of you pisces 
It is so beautiful. You have prosperity coming to you in some way, shape, or form, replacing the challenge or challenges that you went through. Oops, that's loud. Okay. Let me now let, excuse me, let us see if I can get some more cards here for you, Pisces. So we can see what else. What else? Oh, that's not. That was not good. Okay, let me try this one more time. <laughs> okay, so now. Yeah. So let's see. Let's get Pisces at least one of these cards. And get some more details on what, what type of prosperity or what they can look forward to. This bright new future that they're about to embark upon in, in some way. This sunshine, sun shining prosperity for you. Yeah, you're going to flourish. I just got absolutely with whatever this prosperity, whatever this stabilizing Saturn energy is for you now. Okay, what else? Pisces. There we go. Opportunity. Opportunity. You absolutely, Aquarius, you might want to check out Aquarius chart. You might have um, Aquarius in your chart because opportunity was a big thing for Aquarius as well. Yes, absolutely. So that is beautiful. Let's see if there's any anything else here. Pisces. Okay. Yes, pleasure. Look at that, Pisces. Wow. That path. That's your new path. Whatever it is, whatever this prosperity is, whatever's coming towards you this month, it's a beautiful, beautiful new path for this opportunity. Yes, it's going to take you on a new pleasure, a, the path of pleasure for you. Wow. Look at that. There's a deer. Yeah, whatever this this is, this new path, this new journey, this new opportunity, it's the deer I'm getting. It's either dear to your heart, it's very endearing to you, and this prosperity. Your emotions will flow, and they're very sensitive, of course, along with this cancer energy. But, yes, wow. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have for you, Pisces. So, I am wishing you all the best this month, and great, great pleasure. Enjoy yourselves. Until next time.